Reading with Miss Gordon, a story and yoga. Hi, explorers. Miss Gordon here. I'm going to read you the book called The Very Clumsy Click Beetle by Eric Carl. And as I read, I'm going to give you different yoga poses that you can be doing so that you can stay moving while I'm reading you this story. I hope you enjoy. The Very Clumsy Click Beetle by Eric Carl. One fine morning, a young click beetle decided to go for a walk. For our first move, let's be the sun on the click beetle's walk. So raise your hands up high and shine bright. At noon, it climbed up and down a flower. Let's be the flower next. Sit down in lotus position. This position is a fancy word for crisscross applesauce. In the afternoon, it rummaged through a pile of pebbles. Be the pebble by getting onto your knees, putting your chest towards the ground, and putting your arms out behind you. In the evening, it crawled among the tall blades of grass. Be the grass by going back to your lotus position with your arms straight up in the air and then let your grass bend over to one side and then to the middle and then over to the other side. And when it turned night, the young click beetle crept up a tree. After a while, it got tired and fell to the ground. It landed on its back. The young click beetle tried very hard to turn over onto its feet, but it couldn't. Help, it cried. Be the tree that the click beetle fell out of. Stand up. One leg to your calf and then raise your branches up and spread out your leaves. Do the same on the other side. See if you can hold on to your tree for a couple more pages. All along a wise old click beetle had been watching the young click beetle. Tomorrow morning I will teach you how to click and flip through the air and land on your feet, said the wise old click beetle. In the meantime, you may as well go to sleep. Good night. The next morning the wise old click beetle said, Look at me, this is how it is done. First it turned onto its back and then with a loud click. It flipped through the air and landed on its feet. Now you try it, said the wise old beetle. Thank you, that looks easy, replied the young click beetle. Just then an earthworm stuck its head up out of the ground. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click. Let's be the earthworm. Put your hands down on the ground, put your feet back, Lower your body to the ground, and then lift your chest up high to the sky. It flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then a turtle ambled by. Better luck next time, said the turtle. Keep on trying. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click. Next, let's be the turtle. Get on to your hands and your knees and then arch your back like a turtle shell. And then stretch down and then arch your back again like the turtle shell. And then let your back relax. And one more time, let's arch your back like a turtle shell. And then stretch it down. It 
flipped through the air. But it landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then a snail slithered by. Don't worry, said the snail. You'll get there. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click. Let's be the snail. So lower your body to the ground, keep your legs under you, and put your chest towards the ground, and keep your arms out in front of you, stretched out. It flipped through the air. But it landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then a mouse scurried by. You need a little more practice, said the mouse. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click, let's be the mouse. Stand up on your feet, but bend your legs so you're low to the ground like a mouse. And then move your hands next to your feet. It flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. Just then, oh, what was this? The young click beetle had never seen anything so big. It could not move, it was scared. It's time to be the click beetle. So go back to your back and put your hands and your feet straight up in the air. Quick, click and flip, cried the wise old click beetle who was watching. And the young click beetle clicked and flipped through the air. But this time it did three graceful somersaults and landed on its feet. This time you get to choose your own pose and post a picture of it to Seesaw. Look at you, shouted the wise old click beetle. You have done it. Let's finish our book where we raise our arms up high, stretch them high to the sky. The end.